Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Friday Frothy Special Edition. Here we are tonight, Glenn. Bring it on, rumble in the frothy bar. Tonight, special Jeff Horn, the Hornet. As per normal, Glenn, thank you to everyone who subscribed. I hope you enjoy the show. We just want to do a quick shout out before we get Jeff on. Yeah. Corey's Garden and Landscaping, our beer sponsor for the show on the Friday Frothy. Corey, thank you so much, Thanks, mate. Thanks, Corey. Sit back, grab a frothy. And enjoy, mate. Just enjoy. Enjoy the whole growing. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jeff Horn, the Hornet, to the Friday Frothy. Jeff, thanks so much for uh, for joining us this afternoon, yeah. mate. Pleasure to have you on. Yeah. Pleasure, mate. That's really right. Is. Thanks for having me on the show. Beautiful work, mate. Beautiful. Well, he's a world champion, mate. So world know, champion. Know, know, Even got your book here, buddy, just to let you know. So we'll uh, have, it, have a bit of a read. <laughs> we, the, the good thing is, Jeff, we don't have to pump your tyres up because uh, what you've done, mate, is uh, is a credit to you and uh, Endor Australia, actually. And, and, you know, so yeah, talking about pretty what easy. You, talking about what you've done, Jeff, let's get straight into it, mate. Uh, your whole career has come about from bullying in school. Um, just so people, people who don't know out there, yeah, as a teenager, you're at school. You started to get bullied. Um, you, you went and got self-defence. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I got into a few scraps at high school. Got picked on a little bit. Uh, definitely not as bad as some others get picked on, but uh, still it affected me, and that's what kind of drove me to going to the boxing gym in the first place. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you're at the boxing gym. You're starting to do a bit of training and. Uh, your trainer comes up to you and says, "Hey, mate, you're pretty good at this. We can we can take you somewhere." Yeah. So at the start of, I think how it exactly happened. I think I, I went to training, do some just self defence, just to learn how to protect myself, and I did that for I don't know nine months or something, and then I started getting interested in the boxing side of it. And the trainer saw me doing some boxing, and he's like, "You're actually not too bad." He's like, "What do you what do you want to do? Like, do you want to?" have a fight and I was like yeah that's what I'm I'm planning on doing is having a fight and just seeing where that takes me yeah okay yeah right now look I like like the fact uh, Jeff I love the fact that you've really turned a, a negative mate into into a positive you know which is uh, you know mm. like I, I went to an all boys school mate and there was like 1300 guys there when I went there now yeah. bullying I know a lot about mm. Uh, mm. and you know, if you didn't know how to look after yourself there and you got 1,300 blokes, oh. that was a pretty tough school. Oh. Um, so I sort of yeah, do know, I do know a little bit about, you know, certainly what we're talking about there, but, you know, I mean, it's like uh, Danny Green too, mate, well, isn't it? Yeah, look, like Danny Green's the ambassador for um, for the, the coward punch. You sort of, you're sort of the... Yep. Uh, the, the poster boy basically for uh, for bullying in boxing. Would you, would you agree with that? Yeah, I'm trying to... Um help as much as possible to stamp that out because I think um, that that's the roots of majority of problems is mm. uh, the bullying side of it. People get the psychological yeah. impacts of it that affects <clears throat> us in all different ways and yeah. eating habits and whatsoever. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, now, sure. Now, mate, just a little bit before your career starts, now i have led to believe that you are actually a pretty nifty soccer player as well, or, or foot, football oh, player, we should say here on the front. We, we call it soccer. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't too bad. I, I, I played for 12 years from yeah. 6 till pretty much 18. I, I stopped and um, all through school I wasn't too bad. I was in some pretty good teams. I played for the Queensland Lions and I tried out I think at a, a top side in Rochdale at one stage and um, I just wasn't good enough. Um, I couldn't cut it in soccer and I, okay. it pretty much took me that long to figure out that it I probably wasn't going to make it in that sport. And I was like, well, I've got to try other things. Yeah, was there, was there any other sports, Jeff, that, that's not yeah, mentioned? Yeah, rugby, rugby league was yeah, rugby kind of league? In, in, yeah, that was in my eye uh, towards the end of school, like grade 11, grade 12. I was, I was starting to play a bit of touch football and I was fairly good at tackling. And um, it was just the understanding the game more was, was the part that I probably needed most. And I uh, tried out a couple of teams, um, but never, never kind of, it was going to take too long, basically. Yeah, I, 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 so I had a look at your statistics, mate. I looked this up, and you're, you're about 5'9", so you're around about my height, I reckon. Mm. Mm. I'd say yep. pretty much so. You would have made a good hooker, mate, or something like that, wouldn't you, playing rugby? Yeah, you maybe. Right. maybe. Yeah. 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 I, I, I was pretty confident that I would have done 
well in, in footy if I was able to if you pursued um, it. really give it a crack. But yeah. I'm, oh, you took, you I'm took, happy where the path I Oh, I reckon, yeah, I reckon <laughs> you're, you're I, wrong, I don't think you've done too bad, uh, yes, Jeff, just you're quietly. Not but, uh, you're not wrong. Uh, well done, mate. Thank you. You're up. You're, you're up. You're up. No, no, no. I was just going to say. Um, so, uh, how, how have you gone? Obviously, with all the limelight and that from your boxing and that, I don't know. Did you think that was going to? That's. Did you think it was going to come quickly for you and that and sort of how how are you handling the fame sort of part of it now? Mm. You know, with all the with all the notoriety now that you've got through boxing and and even you know with what they were carrying on about in the US. Uh, how, how do you handle that? You, you seem like you're pretty level-headed to me. Being a, a school teacher, yeah, obviously, well, you're, you're pretty grounded. Yeah, well, I've, I've dealt with a lot of uh, backlash with a lot of different fights that I've had. Ever since the Pacquiao fight, it, it definitely exploded. Yeah. Um, the fame level went to a, another level at that stage. I was, I was kind of known before that, but I was definitely a lot... It, it, yeah, it just exploded after Pacquiao and... Uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, uh, but I, I was pretty an easy going guy, so I didn't really, I didn't let it bother me. I just kind of gave people time, and yeah. um, the only the only struggles I do have sometimes is when I'm in crowded places and yeah, they all like know me. boxing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Once right. you're in that ring, mate, you're all right, but you're like me. No, okay, no, no, oh, he, in that... he gets har- harassed. Oh, harassed. Oh, you get harassed. Oh, well, yeah, well, yeah. unfortunately, <laughs> that's the world of the sport, isn't it? I, mean, yeah. I know with Australian rules footballers too, and yeah. I know what they cop too, mate, but, uh, yeah, it's not good. Jeff, mate, I, I, yeah. I know you can't put this into words, mate, but um, talking about the Pacquiao fight and you, you've won, you've got your hand in the air, what's the feeling like? How long did it take to come down off that high? Because that just would have been the most amazing feeling. It just oh, hard to believe. Yeah, it was an absolutely amazing feeling. Uh, it was just a sense of relief as well, and mm. um, like just achieving the goal that I'd set out from day one with boxing and uh, my whole life dream of becoming a, a sports player. I guess a lot of kids that have that dream and to have that moment all happen at once and in that stadium atmosphere with all those people cheering. The, all my, the home crowd, mm. just having everyone there and, and, I don't know, just that feeling of success, it was just, yeah, it was an amazing feeling. Did, did, did he, did he, uh, I watched the fight, did he, um, did he actually clock you too many times in around the head or was it more body shots that he got you or how did you, how did you feel the fight went that way? Did you feel the... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, it was, it was an intense fight, I can remember that, intense. but I can't remember piece nah. by piece exactly yeah. how it kind of happened I would have to kind of watch it myself I all I can remember is he did nearly have me in round nine I was yeah. I was feeling the the pinch in that that round and yeah. I had to kind of push through and use that mental strength that I've got to kind of get through that round so your recovery from that from the fight how long did that take roughly afterwards just after uh, the fight look bruising and all that type of stuff yeah it takes a couple of weeks at least yeah. for all that, that to just disappear and yeah. for you to feel normal again. Yeah. But yeah, I was I was definitely on the high, and, and those feelings didn't really matter. Yeah, nah, Jeff, nah, what's 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 it like taking a blow to the head from all the body from yeah. from, from, from this guy? Because I mean, we'll we'll all admit he's a champion. He's absolutely amazing. Yeah. But, but uh, how do you stand up to that? Do you feel it, or is the adrenaline pumping that much? Well, is that, you, is you that, can't is that your training? Is that what you? Your, your body gets used to that being hit like that in your training, or yeah, look, yeah, oh, you, you can't. can't get used to a punch no. in the head. I no, guess no. you can in a way that you can you can handle a punch a lot better, but still, if you don't see a punch coming, yeah. they're all the, always the ones that are going to knock you out. Knock you out. You can't do anything about those ones. So uh, that's that's boxing. If you can kind of trick an opponent to to not let them know that where a shot's coming from and they're expecting it one way and it comes another but you can't you can't train yeah. to not get knocked out no, no and just jumping off that straight on to uh, my best mate Anthony Mundo <laughs> <laughs> just a joke there mate but um, <laughs> no he, he, is, he is skilled though I'll give him that he's played uh, rugby league at the yeah. at the top level and obviously he's a good sportsman uh, he, he goes about his fights a little bit differently he uh, talks it all up uh, I know you're a lot quieter and you go about your business uh, and let that happen in the ring. Mm. Uh, but um, 
we we did call it, I think, actually, I didn't call it. Jeff called it, this Jeff. And we were sitting here uh, doing yep. one of our shows, and uh, he, he said to me, he said, uh, and I wasn't sure. I mean, he said, he said, I reckon Jeff Horn, the Hornet, he, he said, I reckon he's going to knock him out in the first round. Definitely. Yeah. And I, I said, I said, oh, oh, look, I said, just Jeff did. Yeah, yeah, Jeff did. Yeah, I, yeah, had it all over. And, and I said, look, I said, he's pretty, I said, he's a good boxer. And I said, I, I don't know. I said, yeah. no, there's that age difference now. But uh, I said, I reckon I'll go a little bit longer than that. Well, mate, I'd eat humble pie. You did do it early. Mm. And uh, Jeff, this Jeff got the chocolates. Was that so, was that more of a build up, Jeff, for the fight, or was it an easy win? Would how did you see the fight with Monday? Look, I, I was I was not expecting it to go like I was wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Yeah, I, no. was, I was planning on a long hard fight and potentially going even the distance or getting him later in the fight. Yep, but, yeah, because I knew I'd be able to wear him down and get him later. But uh, to happen that quickly, um, I was I was in shock. Uh, I guess I just felt really strong at that weight and my punches were landing really, really crisp. Yeah, you did. You was all over him. And uh, I think mm. the, uh, I thought too with the age, not just the age difference, but the, with all your training and the way you'd, you'd had fights leading into that, that's where I thought you'd, you'd get him. But I, I, I'll be honest, I thought like you, I thought you'd get him sort of a little bit later no, and I, wear him down. Yeah. But, I, was, uh, I was all over the first round. There you go, mate. All he he did. He, that round. is true. If you watch one of our earlier things, yeah. he, he predicted it. And, yeah, uh, certainly did. I've got to say, he did get the chocolate. I'll never, I'll never predict that stuff. I'll no. I'll never say I'm going to knock a guy out because when, you, when you're looking for it, that's when yeah. it never comes. So yeah. I wasn't certainly wasn't looking to knock him out, especially not the first round. Yeah. So I don't know how you picked it, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like Tess Lotto, just, Jeff. Just had faith in you, mate. Or oh, Gold, or, or you, gold mate. Lotto. That's, that's all you like Gold was. Lotto up there, I reckon. Now, you yeah. didn't contemplate the rematch, did you? No. No. I, no. 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 Look, he's, he's done and dusted. Yeah, before before that had happened, I was... We were... Like, there was the, the clauses in there to say okay. if one of us was to lose, but I think we... We even wanted that, and I think he even denied that clause going in there. Yeah. But there was a potential for a rematch. Yep. But the way that that fight just went, there's no way that you could do that again and sell the fight again because yes. no one's going to pay to watch it. They'll just say, "I'll watch the replay." Yeah, yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. Can you tell us something, mate? Uh, sorry to jump around a bit, but can you tell us a little bit about your exercise regime? What do you? Mm. You know, what do you? Uh, how do you go about that? And uh, for how long before you? Got yep. those fights, yeah. Mm. Just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, like, my daily routine would be I wake up. As soon as I wake up, I go for a run. Uh, normally, it's a 5K run, so it doesn't take too long. Um, so probably, like, half an hour, hour session in the morning. Um, and then I've got a three-hour or so session in the afternoon uh, normally. But mm -hmm. I, I have two place training locations. I have... One at Dundee's Boxing and Fitness, where um, I do some pad work and strength, um, strength and conditioning work with yep. him, yep. and then I do all my boxing and sparring with Glenn at um, Stratton. Yep. yep. So, I'm here, mate. And and um, and, is, yeah. and is that a build up <laughs> when you're getting closer to a fight? It's more and more, or it's still the same pattern all the time? Uh, it's it's probably I don't train as probably as much when I when I have a break. Yep. I'm probably doing a couple hour session in the afternoon. Um, rather than, and sometimes I skip my running because I don't really like it. But yeah. um, that's that's my. So I, I'm not that busy when I'm not fighting, but when I'm in a preparation, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Yeah, we, just in, just I know we probably haven't mentioned this, but is there anything else that goes with it? Like I mean, you said running, and I know you're in the gym and you're doing that. Like, what about weights or you know, weights yeah, or that's, cardio? That's what, yeah, all that yeah, type of thing. With... Swimming? No, not part of it. Oh, I, I do do swimming sometimes when yeah. I get when I get over running. I go well. I I'll cross train and do a bit of swimming because I, I do think swimming is really good for you. It's, mm, yeah, it yeah. is hard because you like I'm using my arms You're the majority using your of the arms time. And your shoulders, yeah. Yeah, in the in the session in the afternoon, so I don't really want to tie my arms out for that. So running is just my legs. So yeah. That's the reason I do that. Yeah, you know what's cool too. On, you? on the, the the health and the injury side of it, um, as a professional boxer, do you have to have regular checkups of, of you know scans and things to make sure that nothing's going wrong up there, or being hit so often? Is that a yeah? There are there are organisations that keep an eye on that, and they do want you to have certain tests done 
uh, to renew your, like, pretty much to get boxing fit. I don't know if it's every year that you have to do that, but before I even started my, I think, professional career, or even my amateur career, my dad made me get an MRI on my, okay. on my brain to make sure yep. that we can compare at later dates that nothing's kind of bad yeah. happening. So that, that well, was very good to get that done. That's nice a big, and early. big thing there, Jeff, isn't it? I know, like, I'm an Australian rules footballer, but like with AFL players, and I can only talk about what I know, and, and certainly with rugby league, but uh, yep. I know with them now, the, the head knocks, just the head knocks, like Paddy McCartan mm. plays at St Kilda Football Club. Mm. Yeah, they're all He's really, yep. They're really struggling, and mm. now they're finding that uh, the guys that have had head knocks six or seven times uh, now are really struggling, you know, and, and some of them are actually out of the game they're for having, a year. They're having, they're having a rest yeah. or two years and then coming back or that's it. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm just wondering if so, at some stage... I know it'll probably never happen. I know it happens in amateur boxing, you know, with the, the helmet, you know, when you wear the the, the uh, mm. face mask. Yeah. And that. I just wondered with the Australian rules and with rugby at some stage whether it may get down to that as well, not just mm. in your sport, but in... Mm. You know, in, in sports because of this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're starting to think that the, the head guards are actually causing oh, the a bit of a concussion. Okay. Yeah, because because yeah. guys feel like they're, they're overly protected in, in boxing and yeah. uh, the hits are still whacking them. And, uh, yeah, supposedly it's it's worse. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Well, that's that's good, Bill. The viewers wouldn't know that. I, no. I wouldn't have known that. So I don't know good. if it's worse, though, getting all the cuts that they might get, though, Off in, the, in leather. the amateur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. It's, it's okay. one good and then another bad comes out of it. Yeah, yeah. okay, I got you, mate. Yeah, no worries. Mate, uh, where, where to now? Where, where, where are you at with your, your career? We know uh, Tim Zoo's just, Costa Zoo's son's just had a fight and, and, and won. We sort of shouted out to yeah, you, mate. He's giving you a call out. Yeah. A bit of a call. But, uh, where, where are you off yeah. to now? Where's your next fight? Um... It's not confirmed yet, but we're we're looking at potentially uh, fighting here um, in Australia against an Australian opponent on the thirty first of August. But it's not nothing's Concrete. signed, um, yep. nothing's agreed yet. Yep. And we're just waiting on confirmation to then announce that one. Yep. And do you, and do you think I, I know you you mentioned uh, Tim Zoo? You said no, you're not ready yet. And we actually said probably last week. It's probably something that you might look at next year. Is well, how do you, how do you, he goes, well, we don't want to talk about him, but no, uh, no. you think he's competitive? Look, he, he's a good boxer, I, I give him that. He's been around the amateurs for a while, I can remember seeing him. He's had some real big fights out there and he's done well. But um, I think at this stage, I don't think, like I guess I could say, yeah, I want to fight him now because I, I get him nice and early and, yeah. and I'll, I'll beat him. But um, I think... It needs time to kind of brew, and Tim needs a couple more notches on his belt, team and for me to say yes, I'll I'll take on. Yeah, hundred percent. I noticed too, Jeff. You were saying um, it's not something we probably had here, but I, I I noted when I think I think through your words and that that you were looking at probably getting out of welterweight and probably going up to super or super welterweight yeah. or or up to a, a higher super. A, super what? Well yeah, away. possibly even middleweight. Middleweight, so, middleweight, yeah. Um, I might be, ch- might be just jumping straight to uh, the. Your camera. The, the yeah. high- might right. be jumping straight to the higher weight divisions. Yeah. Okay. So. What- might be middleweight next. Middleweight. Yeah. Okay. And uh, okay. Nice. Uh, interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Um, now, mate, you're you're about to have another chop. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Three weeks. Three, Three weeks. weeks. How many is that, yeah. Jeff? Yeah. How many? How yeah, many? Not too long. Yeah. How many kids? Uh, that'll be our second. Second? Oh, nice. Right. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Good luck with everyone in there. Well, mate, um, that's probably all we've got for you. We, we can't thank you enough for coming on the show and, and giving us an insight to, no, to what you're doing. And uh, we're, we're pretty proud of you, mate, knowing your grassroots and where you've come from. Um, yeah. And, we, and, we, we was going to have a young boxer on uh, down we here. We were, and, uh, yeah. You know, when Jeff told me that, uh, you know, there's a possibility that we, we might get you on, I thought, well, you know, for, for guys like that that are trying to notch out a career mm. and all that sort of thing, it's good for them. Yeah. You know, which they definitely will be watching this. So, mm. Uh, mm. 
and, you know? and the fact, mate, that you're an absolute inspiration to yeah. everyone out there who gets bullied. And, 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 and I think that's something that, that's a story that needs to be told. Well, and congratulations well, to you on it. I think not only are we, we proud of it, and look, we, we can say that, but I know anyone that I spoke to, when we were watching, mate, when you did the fights, we were down at the bars watching you, and I know all of Australia's behind you. So yeah. whatever happens, doesn't matter what happens, Jeff. We just wish you all the best and uh, well, keep safe, mate. And, uh, yes, please do. Yeah. So you can run uh, around after me. Yeah, okay. Uh, a, a quick shout out to, to, to Jamie Payne, Jess, Jess's son. So Will do. He, so, yeah. Good lad, mate. Um, went to high school with him, yep. went through a bit of stuff with him as well. So, yeah, shout out to Jamie out there. Beautiful work, mate. All right, then, mate. I don't, I, I, the only thing is, mate, I don't know why you got a, a warm top on there. It must be, what, <laughs> is it still 25 degrees up there? It's about uh, two here. It's, it's, it's probably like, I don't know what it is, probably 18 or something, but that's no. cold here. It's, ah. it's freezing down here, mate. <laughs> freezing down here. We all might, right, all the best, We mate. might have to send you a Friday Frocky yeah, shirt, we'll send you so top, you can wear that around. You can wear that on the beaches, mate. <laughs> wear it in your next fight. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, thank you so much. No, Absolutely. We appreciate, appreciate it. We do appreciate Fantastic. it. And all the best, mate. You look after yourself. Good luck with the, with the new Thanks, child. Nice. Yeah. Good too. luck with all the next All the best fight, to your mate. family. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Jeff. Cheers. Cheers. See you, guys. Well, there you go, Glenn. Jeff the Hornet. Horn. He, he, look, what a nice bloke. He, he just did exactly like his boxer, mate. It wouldn't look like marshmallows have melted his mouth, but uh, get him in that ring, mate. Totally different killer. story. Killer. 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 Now, guys, uh, I said before, I said to Jeff that I've got the book, and oh. uh, if you're interested, go out and get it because it is a fantastic read. Well, it I'll be really I'll is. be reading, and I haven't read it yet, so I did want to talk to him first before I got into it. Yes, and, yes, uh, fantastic um, work. So. But uh, look, he's he's done. He, he's lost one fight. Mm. You realise that at the moment, so he's mm. got he's got 19 knockouts. He's a champion. And uh, one loss and one draw, I think, or whatever it is, but anyway. Now, guys, champion. I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. We've got plenty more coming up in the future uh, in the way of interviews. Please like, subscribe, and share this around for people so uh, people get to see what we're doing. And if you, yeah, if you like what we're doing, yeah. ring that bell. Ring right? the bell, ring the bell. Remember, I always say, ring the bell. Ring the bell. Anyway, no, and it doesn't cost you to subscribe. Does it, it certainly doesn't. No. Get on board, guys, because uh, yeah, we're having a great time doing yeah. what we do, and hope we hope you enjoy it as well. So yeah. that's up right, for us. That's the, that's the uh, world champion, Jeff Horn. And uh, thank you again, Jeff. Yeah, thanks, Jeff. Good we night, everyone. It, mate. Good night. Good night. Good evening, everyone. Sorry, start that again. Good evening. Oh, Come on. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Friday Frack. <laughs>